Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the CPFM Flea One in the Grinch colorway. Although this sneaker is very wild, there are also a lot of cool details that come along with this shoe. And I'm definitely excited to give you guys a full in-depth review. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys in-depth reviews of wild kicks like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. So before we break down all the details of this shoe, we gotta talk about the history first. CPFM is something also known as Cactus Plant Flea Market. Now we have seen a lot of people wearing the different items of clothing and other shoe collaborations from the past that I'm sure a lot of you have seen and may have not even realized simply because this shoe is so wild. But when it comes to the CPFM collaborations, they have always done a really good job of pushing the limits and taking things a little bit outside of the box. Now these are considered to be the CPFM Flea Ones and they're also very similar to the Nike Dunk Lows, but we also remember the Nike Dunk Lows CPFM FM Swarovski crystal version and that shoe in particular I think a lot more people may like than these ones right here but don't get me wrong at the end of the video I'm gonna show you guys the poll results what people think this shoe is fire or trash you might be surprised so after seeing multiple collaborations with CPFM and Nike it's very interesting because they just seem to get wilder and wilder every single time we see a shoe drop and this one is slated to be the next thing that's supposed to come out but we don't know exactly when they're dropping luckily I was able to get my hands on a pair early for you guys shout out to the homies over there at untied LA if you haven't already, make sure you go check them out. They have a dope store out in LA, and then obviously you can shop on their website online. And if you ever decide to pick up anything from their website, make sure you use the discount code DNA Show, and that'll get you free shipping on all your orders as well. Now, let's take it into all the details because there's actually a lot going on when it comes to this shoe. Starting with the outsole, you have your classic Nike Dunk bottom. On this pair, on the right foot, you're gonna have a gray bottom, and then on the left foot, you're gonna have more of a brown bottom, as you can see the difference in the two colors. And then also, as you have kind of that mud, that cement type vibe right here on the side end of the foot. It looks like a bunch of recycled materials when it comes to the different rubbers being more sustainable and different things like that. But apparently this is actually supposed to be something that as you wear the shoe, it slowly comes off and then starts to reveal other parts of the sneaker. And that's what a lot of people have said from the previous brown pair as well. And again, if you haven't seen that review, I did that on the channel some months back. Make sure you guys go check that out. I'll have a link for you guys down below in the description or maybe pinned at the end of the video as well. But besides that, and on those in particular, they had a lot of mismatched vibes and they kind of carried that over when it comes to these as well. So on here, as you can see on the left foot, you have more of that brown mud kind of vibe on the left foot compared to that kind of grayish cement kind of look on the right foot. Now going to the upper, this is very, very wild. I'm interested to see what is behind here. And there's a couple little things that's on the tag, like it says right here on the Nike CPFM tag. It says, I've been growing, please trim excess material on the Nike CPFM Flea One before wear. So essentially what they're saying is they want you to trim all this off and kind of style it your own way and kind of cut it down a little bit like the shoe's been overgrown, whether it may be the actual Grinch and his fur is overgrowing, or maybe this is like a garden or something and it's overgrown and you haven't gotten to it. I don't know exactly what vibes are going with this because a lot of sneakerheads are slating these the Grinch colorway, which they definitely do look like the Grinches. But at the same time with CPFM and different kind of vibes when it comes to the muds and different, you know, neutral tones and the things that I've seen from the past, I could could also see how they kind of correlate that to just nature and the different you know backyard growing out and you got the weeds growing and different stuff like that so very interesting touch now besides that let's look at the actual fur that you see on the upper so if you look at the toe on the right foot it's gonna be a lighter green on the left foot it's gonna be a darker green and then around the front end right here you'll see you have that lighter green around that area and then you actually have a darker green right here around this area. So everything is essentially kind of mismatched. And then on the top end where the laces go, you're gonna have these wild color laces right here. It's kind of like the lighter and the darker greens. And then you got your lighter green fur. And on the side of the foot, you got your light patch, which are kind of medium green patch. And then over here, it's kind of more of a light patch with a forest green type patch. So they kind of give you, again, that mix match vibe when it comes to the uppers. And then on the back end, where you got that nylon right here around the back end and the meshes, you're gonna have a lighter green on the left foot and then a darker green on the right foot. And then behind the tongue, one cool thing right here that I love about these, they have the zipper tongue pouch. So you can actually unzip this area right here. Hold on one second. And then you have your little stash pouch right here on the inside. We've seen that done before on previous shoes, but it's always cool to see that as a dope touch on this one as well. And then on the tongue right here, you got CPFM stitched in black right here with the Nike swoosh. 
And then on the left foot right here, you got Nike with the Nike swoosh right there. And then again, on the zipper lining, you're gonna have more of a neon kind of green on the right foot and more of a forest green on the left foot. And then these also come with a couple extra sets of laces. So you got the standard laces right here. You got more of a flat lace when it comes to the lime green laces right here. And then you got more of like a tube style rope lace right here when it comes to, I don't know if these have 3M on it. It looks like it might be a 3M dotting on there as well. So a lot of cool details. Definitely a lot of cool details. Now, I don't know how cool they are for rocking, but when it comes to actually having the sneaker and collecting it or having it as a conversation piece or something like that, there's definitely gonna be a lot of conversation when it comes to this shoe. Now, if you dig a little bit further into the fur right here, you can see there's a white Nike swoosh on the inside of the right foot. And then on the inside of the left foot, you got that same white Nike swoosh. On the outside of the right foot right here, you got the yin yang patch embroidered right here. Let's see what we got on this side. You gotta, you gotta like fist your way through there. Okay, and then on the left side, same thing right there with the yin yang patch. I don't think there's anything like inside the toe cap area or anything like that that I can notice. Is there a swoosh in here? There's gotta be a swoosh. I know they've always, they always end up putting like a swoosh on the upper or somewhere. I don't know, maybe these don't have like a big swoosh on them. Just some, just the small hits on the backside. So I know on the other pair, they had the bigger swoosh on the inside of the foot. Now, another thing when it comes to this shoe, besides it being just extremely crazy, another cool hit that I love is the thermal print that you have on the inside of the insoles. And then on the right foot, you have the R and on the left foot, you have the L. Obviously we all know what that means. And that's for just in case you forget what shoe to put on what, because obviously these things are wild. Now, as we look a little bit deeper, it's like a mesh material underneath there that's holding all the fur on. So if you were to cut this off and kind of like shave it down, maybe if you use scissors and then like use clippers or something to like, like hair clippers or something, that might be able to get it really, really smooth and flat. I'm interested to see what that looks like. But honestly, I don't think it would look too good if this was like completely like shaved off. Like, it doesn't look it's just kind of like a white material behind it in a mesh it's hard for me hopefully i can show you guys with some pictures uh what it looks like but i think this shoe is meant to stay this way like i don't know how many people would actually trim it and want to rock it me personally i think if i were to ever wear these on christmas one time because that would probably be the only time i'll wear these uh i would probably just leave them as is and let them go crazy like this and just call them the bad hair days i don't know let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section so now when it comes to opinions on this shoe if i were to rate these out of 10 when it comes to creativity i think they did a really good job now if i were to rate these on out of 10 of me copping them i don't know how high the number would be of my interest of copping this shoe i feel like a lot of people would be interested to copy this shoe for resale purposes or maybe use it as trade bait or something for the collection now if i could get the shoe for retail yes great addition right but if it was a shoe that was like oh i gotta pay the 15 16 18 two thousand dollars whatever it is that the price is i don't know let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section when it comes to those pricings and then similar to like my cpfm pair right here now these are definitely a wild shoe and these go for you know three four five thousand dollars depending on condition size all the other factors but i think these are just a little bit more functional <laughs> than this one right here and again i know a lot of people that don't like this shoe at all me personally i love them i think these things are bangers but at the end of the day it's about buying what you like so if you like these buy them if you like those buy them if you don't don't buy them so i would love to hear what you guys think down below in the comment section when it comes to actually wanting to have this shoe in your collection and if you truly think this is a fire shoe and speaking of that, if you guys haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. I asked the people the same question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? This is what they said. To no surprise, 16% of the people said fire and 84% of the people said trash. And that is no surprise to me at all. I knew for a fact, there's no way more than half the people are gonna like this shoe. And honestly, the results are very, very accurate based off what I was thinking. Cause I'm like, honestly, it might even, I might've thought 10% truly. Like it might be a little bit higher than what I was originally thinking. But either way, I'm not mad at it. Like the creativity, the idea, the concept, something like that being brought to life and put on a shoe is really, really dope. Like it's always cool to see those wild, obscure sneakers that come out every now and then. Cause we get the basics, you know, switch up the color blocking or change the color palette on the shoe, the materials made 
they say the same. You got the leathers and all the stuff that kind of is very similar on a lot of shoes. So to see them, you know, get creative and do something dope, I respect it. I love it. I'm excited for that. Now, again, is this something that is an everyday shoe and all that stuff? No, I don't think so at all. So there's a lot of different reasons why you may or may not want to have this shoe in the collection. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges so all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section that will get you set up and into the community i'm excited to see you guys on the inside would love to hear how you guys feel down below in the comment section and again if you guys want to see any other reviews on my channel and you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in another video all right y'all i'm out